how to get Photoshop and Wacom Interverse work together. If you want, you can assign shortcut keys or express keys to the tablet itself. First, you have to choose whether you want to apply it to all other applications or to a specific design applications you prefer. If you notice the four keys located on the upper part of your tablet, you can assign what functions they will perform every time you press them. It can be click, right click, double click, middle click and so on. You can even assign keystrokes, modifiers like shift, left out, right out and many more. In setting up your pen, you can adjust how soft or firm your pen's tip feel and adjust the distance of your double click. The same as the tablet, your pen has shortcut keys too. In my case, I assign the upper key to be my right click and the lower key to be my save button. And just for a tip, if you want to assign one of the pen's key as right click, go to options and in pen button mode, choose click and tap instead of hover click. Because for me, it's hard to right click on a specific target when your pen is hovering, especially if you don't have steady hands like me. This is where you adjust your screen and tablet area whether you like it full or portion. I like my screen area to be full. And for another tip, choose portion for your tablet. My advice is to set up the drawing area to the upper left of your tablet. Drag the handle to create a smaller rectangle so your drawing space will be concentrated only there. This is actually an advantage for you. Your hands won't need to be flying around your tablet when you're drawing. Instead, you can just rest your hand in one place with a very minimal movement. Less movement, more coverage. To simulate an art tool, like an airbrush or any other brush, Photoshop allows you to use pen pressure to control the opacity, buildup, and size of your brush stroke. I am referring to these three buttons here. If you don't use this, or at least one of these buttons, your digital pen will just function just like a regular mouse. Here's what I'm talking about. Using a basic brush with all these buttons off, no matter how much pressure I apply, the brush stroke remains the same from start to finish. Now let's try turning on the pressure for opacity first. Notice as I gradually apply pressure, the opacity increases just like a real brush. This time, let's try the build-up. We'll turn off opacity first so we'll clearly see the effect when pressure is on for build-up. Now look at this. The moment I stop moving my pen, just like a real brush, the so-called ink starts to build up. Now let's try using the pressure on size. As I gradually apply pressure on the pen, the size of the brush increases. Remember, the maximum size, opacity and buildup will depend on your settings. For example, if you set your brush size to 60, no matter how much pressure you apply, it will only reach up to the size of 60. Now let's try to apply all three of them all together. The 
those are the basics. Now it's your turn to try, explore, discover, and learn new things in the process. If you learned something today, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.